This assay links modulation of bacterial structure and function to immune cell-based antibacterial activity. As such, a key immunotherapeutic aspect of a potential treatment can be assessed in determining the likelihood of improved bacterial clearance. Opsonophagocytic killing assay traditionally serves as the gold standard for assessing effector functions of antibodies raised against the bacterium as opsonin. This protocol offers simplicity and versatility over existing high-throughput standardized assays. In this protocol, we investigate the effects of a drug treatment on streptococcus pneumonia and how these effects translate to improved phagocytosis of the bacterium. Here, we apply the OPKA to streptococcus pneumonia cells. However, this protocol can be adopted to assess phagocytic killing of other pathogens by immune cells. Dedicate time to optimize the bacterial stocks and ensure the final CFUs to be counted fall within the optimum range. We strongly recommend using flow cytometry to ensure HL60 cells are viable and active, and trying different culture conditions to ensure functionally active cells. Visual demonstration will give a better understanding of how the sample should be plated and how to achieve countable samples. To begin, prepare HL60 cell culture media composed of 500 milliliters RPMI supplemented with L-glutamine and 50 milliliters heat-inactivated fetal bovine serum. For propagation and maintenance of HL60 cells, culture 5 million cells in 10 milliliters of HL60 cell culture media in 75 square centimeter vented flasks at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide. To generate working stocks of HL60 cells, add approximately 1 million cells per milliliter in HL60.